just just say this why would i want to wear something that's not benefiting you at all right now you got on your armor and you yet you hide i don't need to have on that I, I, my, I, I'm victorious because my victory is in, in the God that has never failed. Oh, oh, okay. So so he went out there and he slew that Goliath with some stones, with a stone and a slingshot. Uh, he didn't have to have on uh, an armor of the king, but he had on the armor of God because he believed. So therefore, my armor is cut, custom fit based upon my belief in my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, and, and, and here's why. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, mm -hmm. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Oh, my, 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 my. Too many of us want to go out here and fight battles and fight wars with the weapons that we are accustomed to use and why because we're comfortable with that uh you know i, I, I yeah some of us uh, you know because uh we what we're doing is looking to attain victory that that we can that we can attribute that uh to something that uh, uh that we did uh, uh you know what god had to do with gideon's army he had to whittle them down because god said there was way too many there was thirty-two thousand of them that started out by the time he finished with them there was only 300 that he used god does it doesn't take a lot uh for god to uh, bring forth the desired effect um that he has for his people all he needed is some committed and dedicated folk that are willing to trust in him and to be open uh to his lead and to his guide amen Amen. Yeah, yeah. Mm, for we do wrestle not. Wrestle. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age. Yeah, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty to the. Uh, they're spiritual. They're mighty to pulling down the strongholds. We wrestle against. We fight against um, the, the the demonic influences of the world and chase Satan being chief. Uh, uh, the influencer of, of all the demonic uh, influences and influence influencers that are of this world. So therefore, we cannot come at him in a manner that uh, that we're accustomed to fighting with one another. Uh, that, that's not how you fight spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. Against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Amen. Uh, yeah, in the heavenly places, amen, because Satan originated, uh, he was a created being of God, and he came from the heavenly places, uh, he's no longer in there, but that's where he came from, uh, he was an angel, uh, angel of God, a fallen angel, uh, uh, now be it because of uh, iniquity was found within him, you remember what happened, he tried to make himself bigger than God, or equal to God, and and the word of God is very clear. He'll have no other God beside himself. He's a jealous God. Amen. So that's who we're fighting against. Amen. And, and, and let's see. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Amen. Uh, because we have to realize where our help comes from. Uh, I look to the hills from which cometh my help, knowing that all my help comes from the Father of lights, the, uh, the God that has saved me. Uh, he is the source of my strength. It's in him that I live and have my very being. So I'm going to rely upon the one that I know that is able to bring me from uh, the darkness into the marvelous light that has kept me. All these low many years of my life, and I say low many of them, low many of them were walking around in a sinful uh, a state. Uh, I was in a state of deprivation. Amen. I was living my life of, uh, in, in total alienation to God uh, for 43 years. Amen. For 43 years. I got saved at the age of 43. And some people say, well, how did you live 43 years in sin? The Bible says that we are wroth in iniquity. We're shaped in iniquity. We're born into sin by virtue of the, uh, the sinful nature that we inherited from the first um, uh, earthly father, Adam, uh -huh, from the garden. Amen. But thank God I've been redeemed. Amen. Hallelujah. So, yeah, therefore... I'm taking up the whole armor of God that, that I may be able to withstand in the evil day. And then stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth. 
I mean, wrap yourself up in the truth. Why? Because the truth is the only thing that's going to be able to sustain you. The only thing that's going to be able to give you the strength that you need. And the truth is in God's word. That's why you study to show yourself approved. Not to gain some uh, 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 outward uh, 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 oh, declaration of what you learned and, and what your... Uh, uh, or, or outward attestment of your intellect and your, your intellectual abilities. What am I saying? Diplomas, degrees, plaques, and all those things that attest to our, 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 our intellectual prowess. That's not what studying to show yourself approved unto God, uh, a workman need not be ashamed, is about. Amen. What it is, is that you, you really need to know the Word of God. And the only way that you're going to know it is you have to study it meditated on it upon it day and night allow the holy spirit the holy ghost to illuminate that word to you to open up your mind and your understanding so that you can clearly uh, be able to uh, uh, uh oh my god to to handle the word of god and i say handle the word of god i want to make this plain because i got i don't want i don't i don't like to use uh, I, for a lack of a better word i don't really want to say handle but to be able to appropriate the word of God in this proper context and usage. Amen. So that you don't go out there and, and just start speaking things just because you got some things down to memory. That's not studying to show yourself and unto, prove unto God. A workman need not be ashamed. That's just operating and utilizing your abilities to have a, uh, to memorize some verses and scripture. Uh, that won't do you real. That, that that won't profit you too much when you in a spiritual warfare. You don't want to be in a situation when you come up against the uh, the forces of darkness and you start sprouting off some scripture and they're able to detect that there ain't no substance behind your ability to even say that. That you just talking loud and saying nothing. Oh, what are you saying, Minister Weathersby? Well, let me just give you this scenario. Uh huh. I know. I know Peter. Yeah, I know Paul. I know Jesus. But who are you? What are we saying? Uh, just sprouting off memory verses and with no real clear understanding and, and no clear relationship with the word and uh, the word, not the word being in you, but you're not being in it and being had by the word, but uh, not really having that, having the word, uh, not having that type of uh completeness in God understanding God's word when you grind yourself up or going up against the, the forces of darkness they will eat you alive amen they will absolutely eat you alive why the devil knows the Bible too need I say more Lord have mercy mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah and having put on the breastplate of righteousness amen Amen. The breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Amen. Now that's a good thing to be able to have on because the righteousness, uh, that breastplate, that protects you. That protects your heart. It protects the areas that are sensitive, that are open to a, a, a frontal attack. Amen. And that righteousness, well, we're clothed in it. We have no righteousness of our own. That's why we have to put on. And put on that what that was freely given unto us, which was given to us by Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary when he died. Uh, and, and, and God and Father eventually raised him from the dead on the third day morning uh, and, and placed in. And, and when he ascended into heaven, he gave him all power where he sits on the right hand of the Father with all power in his, in his hands in heaven and earth. And the righteousness of Christ by what he did was imputed. To the account of the believers. And when that happened, we now have we now have the righteousness. We have the righteousness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we are clothed in. And that's that's something that uh uh, it, it, it is, is, is important for us because the Bible tells us that righteousness of ourselves is as filthy rags. Is there any righteous on the earth? No, there's not one. But thank God we serve a righteous God. And we have the ability to put on his breastplate, uh, uh, to put on the breastplate of righteousness to, to help to shield us. And having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
Hey Amen. But you're talking about war. You're talking about declaring war. What do you mean the gospel of peace? Well, you need to have peace within your own self, within your own soul, within your own mind. You have to know that you're in relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And yes, right. Amen. You have to know that, uh, uh, that uh, you know, if God be for you, then who can be against you? And, and why worry about anything? We don't worry about the outcome of the battle. We already know the battle is already won. Why? We're overcomers because Christ overcame and we're more than con I am more than a conqueror uh -huh, through Christ Jesus who loved me amen so I'm at peace I'm at peace with what's going on around me I'm at peace with what's happening even when evil comes up against me I'm at peace why Romans 8 28 is in effect for me all day long all things are working together to good for them that love the Lord, not are called according to the, his purpose. Amen. And I know that I've been called according to his purpose because Jeremiah 1 5 lets me know that before I was, oh my God, before I was formed in my mother's womb, God knew me. Uh huh. Before I was born, he already had ordained me to be a prophet to the nations. And therefore, uh, oh my God, therefore, I don't have no sense of being worried or concerned about anything. My destiny was foretold by God in the beginning. And in the beginning, I, 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 oh yeah, I thank God that he's given me this. Uh, in the beginning is not just in the beginning as according to uh, the, book of, uh, the, the book of Genesis. Amen. In the beginning is when God told Jeremiah, uh, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. That was before life. Or the life of man uh, before breath entered into my mortal body god already knew me and how did he know me well according to what my wife told me about all oh, going on three years now now in december of 2012 when i first met her and she was she and i were uh, just talking about the goodness of the lord and sharing some things she said god fathered us in the spirit oh really i had a problem with that initially um, except for one thing, the word of God let me know that it was in alignment with his word because Jesus told us disciples, no, no man on, on this earth as your father, except um, God. Uh, he is your father. He's your heavenly father. And we know that throughout the word of God in the, in the New Testament, it talks about God, the father, God being a father, um, you know, the, uh, who loves us so much that uh, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And Jesus Christ even made a prayer for his disciples that, you know, that father make us, make them one as we are one. Amen. So, so yeah, God, the father, he fathered us in the spirit. And, and, and the reason why that is so is that according to what he said in Jeremiah 1, 5, he says, before I formed you in the womb, I already knew you. He had already created us. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for that relationship. Oh, my God. All right, let's move on. Oh, yeah, I'm at peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. That's right. I believe. And because I believe, I have faith. Oh, yeah. You cannot have faith unless you believe. Amen. Why? Because to them that believe, all things are possible. Amen. And when you have faith... And it don't take much faith, just a faith the size of a grain of a mustard seed. Uh, our loving Father will give increase and allow us to be able to accomplish whatever we need to accomplish. We just have to keep on believing mm -hmm. and trusting. Yeah, that's why Proverbs 3, 5, 6 for me is the foundation scripture for my understanding of the faith. I trust in the Lord with all my heart. I'm paraphrasing. That's right. I trust in the Lord with all my heart and I lean not to my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge him and he directs my path. Amen. Then I got the helmet of salvation. Oh, yeah. I got the helmet of salvation. I got the full understanding of my salvation. I know how I became saved and I'm covered under that because I'm covered under the blood of Jesus Christ and so salvation has come to me because I confess I repented of my sins according to Romans 10 9 I believed in the Lord Jesus Christ and that God the Father raised him on the third day morning and the Bible says that I shall be saved so I have hope and I'm going to keep my head covered, my mind covered, because my, oh my God, my, my, my salvation is, is protecting me, it's protecting my mind, my soul. Oh my God. 
Because the enemy, when he comes to attack, he comes to attack your mind. Amen. But when you have on the helmet of salvation, 